Welcome everybody to episode 8 of the Paper and Plastic Show. This is the show where we talk about, you guessed it, paper and plastic. We're recording from the beautiful Ocean Ridge Studios in Toronto, Canada. And we are all about making the paper and plastic industry cool. And this podcast, this show, it's on all platforms. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Spotify, Apple Podcasts going worldwide so that we can educate you about this essential industry that's making a huge impact worldwide and all the cool people that are working behind the scenes to make your everyday a reality. You know, we just so easily throw our trash in the garbage, in the blue bin, in the recycle bin, and order on Amazon and a new box appears and we open it up, we cut it out and we throw it back in the blue bin. Who is doing all that? Who is taking care of all that material? Who is processing all the material? Did you know that all of your Amazon boxes primarily are made from recycled craft or recycled boxes? I'm not sure if you knew that. And a lot of the material that you throw in the blue bin, it makes its way back into the cycle to be reused. There's pretty much two types of paper. There's virgin material and there's recycled material. Virgin material, just like virgin olive oil, is brand new material. This is the material that comes from the trees. They get pulped down. They get into a big mush and it creates virgin fiber and virgin paper. This is brand new paper. And then there's recycled material, which is like it goes in the blue box, it goes in the recycle bin, it gets reprocessed, it gets sorted at the MRFs, they remove all impurities to the best of their abilities, and then they make new paper. But the point is, virgin fiber is always gonna be stronger because it's brand new, and recycled fiber is a little bit weaker, but it's significantly more environmentally impactful because it leaves less of an impact because you're using material again and again and again. Plastic is not equal evil. Paper is not evil. Like in Canada, they ban plastic straws. I mean, I have a whole thing to say about that. We use plastic everywhere, but you know, plastic straws, it's the devil. It's actually one time use or single use products. That's the problem. So I always get asked, what's better? Is it better to have virgin material or better to have recycled material? The answer is it's not really conclusive. Recycled material is better for every environmentally, you know, to, to have a better sustainable impact. But if I was in a surgery, God forbid, and they were going to put bandages on me and the bandages, uh, the backing was made from recycled fiber or recycled paper, I wouldn't want an infection, you know, because MRFs are only so good at separating material. Or if I was buying food and I was um, going to have a burger and that paper that the burger was sitting in was made from recycled fiber, recycled fiber and my food was going to touch that recycled fiber and there was no middle layer to protect it. I don't know how comfortable I would feel because that paper might have baby diapers to dog poop or, um, you know, like insects, bugs, like there's always a small, tiny microscopic impurity percentage that's going to be there, which I don't want touching my food. So what's better, virgin or recycled? The answer is it depends on the use case, but the point stands recycled is good. And today we're talking about something that, you know, you guys use every single day in your houses, egg cartons. Did you know egg cartons are primarily the paper ones made from recycled fiber and all of them are biodegradable because they're made from waste paper, right? They're made from paper that you throw in your office blue bin or your home blue bin and it's reprocessed and it's converted into these biodegradable egg cartons. And that is much better than using those foam or plastic or premium egg cartons because this material is biodegradable, which means that if you throw it in the ground, it can just become dirt all over again. And the cycle starts again. You grow new trees and new material. And that's what it's all about. So we have a really cool video to show you guys because this is something that's important because what I said, each person in the United States is consuming 279 eggs per year. Quick math, 279 divided by 12. 23? There we go. That's better. So you're using about 22 and a half egg cartons a year. And that's just you. Like one American is using 22 egg cartons a year. Now you times that by your family. You times that by all the people in your community. That's a lot of egg cartons. So if we're not being socially responsible and using materials that can be biodegradable, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pile up. So let's watch this video. We're going to react to it. This is by Shiliu Machinery on TikTok. And they're going to show, I'm assuming, how waste paper converts into a card. Okay. Put it 
putting in the mixer, mixing the water. There we go. This is it's pretty much like a paper mill. The same process happens for virgin material too. It's almost the exact same process, but instead of the bales, they would use um, actual wood fiber. And look at that. You have these looking, you know, like brand new egg trays. And uh, because the eggs have a shell on them, so it's not like it's a food product. The egg shell, like, it protects it from impurities. So even though this is made from waste paper, it's not an, an issue for hy like for hygiene because the egg itself is, is, is a protective barrier. But, like, you wouldn't want your, like, bread wrapped in this, obviously. But very cool. Awesome. Thank you. You know, like, this is pretty insightful. And it gives you insight that waste paper can be converted into these unique amazing cool things and we got to find these solutions and you got to know about them because there are all these cool people in our industry doing super cool things and they're absolutely essential because the other alternative if we don't recycle and if we don't have these industries we got to make brand new material we got to cut trees and keep cutting trees and keep mining and keep looking for new metals and new plastics and you would have you would be living in filth we would be living in landfills you know, so let's try to do our part. When you have your egg tray, take it, put it back in the blue bin. If you have your Amazon box, put it in the blue bin, put it in the recycle bin. Don't just put it in the landfill. I have a lot of people, I mean, on our, on our TikTok, Instagram, they were saying, oh, it's not so bad that we're using McDonald's paper cups. Don't you know they're recyclable? Yeah, they're recyclable as long as you empty the containers out. You know, if you have an ice cream container and it, it says recyclable on it, if you leave a half full of ice cream, they will not recycle that material. It's gonna go straight to the trash, to the landfill. Any glass bottle, if you if you if it's half full of sauce, they're not gonna recycle it. They're gonna put it in the landfill because the MRFs aren't so you know like advanced that they can literally come out, open your jar, wash it out, and then put it into recycling into the recycling process. So you have to clean out your bottles, clean out your boxes, clean out your jars. Otherwise, it's just landfill. And we can use this material to make new material, and that's super cool and super important. See you in the next one, Paper Nothing Show. And we're out.